Hey YouTube, my name is Matt with Sledder Society. This is the first episode of the 2024 snowmobile season. First things first, got the sled loaded up here. Yeah, we got a buyer for her, selling her tomorrow up in Idaho. Kind of sad, but my skidoo snow check or spring check is here. Already got the wrap for the free ride in that Neo Mint color. Got some Spartan Red logos on it. Really excited to show you guys. But yeah, we'll see how tomorrow goes. Should be a fun time. There she goes. There goes my snowmobile. It's a new day. And uh, the new snowmobile is here. It's assembled, it's ready to be picked up. I did not get a lot of sleep last night because I knew that it was here. And uh, yeah, pretty excited. So let's go grab it. Got her home. All right, got the sled all unloaded. She looks incredible. Look at this thing has 0.1 of a mile, completely fresh snowmobile. So pumped. So far, already throwing the wrap on here for my lunch break. Looks pretty darn cool. Got a lot more pieces to go. Um, shout out to Big Pine Sports. That was like the nicest power sports dealership I've ever been in. and. They even hooked me up with like a little skidoo shirt here. So shout out to them. Here's the progress on the wrap so far. Looking awesome. So I've got this uh, bumper set up from BM Fabrications. Shout out to them. They were able to get me Spartan Red for the side and black on the back. And essentially, it's just gonna go like this. It's gonna line up just like that and attach like that. So that's how the bumper is gonna look. Um, looks really good though. Once again, shout out to BM Fabrications. I also wanted to shout out Deviant Inc. As you can see, their logo's right there. I've been running their wraps for four years now, and I really haven't seen anything else as good as them on the market. Another cool thing too, 
They even cut out a little slot for my VIN number. How cool is that? They just really think of everything. Can't recommend them enough. Shout out to Deviant Inc. Got the wrap almost entirely done. Hood is off, side panels are off. Look how clean this engine is. Looks so good. There's your turbo, Rotex. And uh, yeah, I'm switching over from the thumb throttle to a Munster finger throttle. So that's why I've got this all pulled apart. We're gonna get the Munster finger throttle put, put on. It just got the Munster finger throttle on. Still have to tighten it up and put the guard on and everything else. Requires you to do a little bit of wiring. So it goes through this little harness here up to this plug. You have to get two wires in here, which I've already done before this video. And uh, now it works great. So yeah, we're in good shape there. Just need to clean up my wires here and we'll be good to go. Here's the Munster guard that they make. It just attaches right here and here around the finger throttle. So if you're riding in the trees, none of the uh, branches or limbs can push on your finger throttle. So it kind of protects you from those situations. Definitely recommend getting the guard as well. All right, after some drilling, we got it out. Had to take out these two right here. And this one as well, or these two. So once you have those drilled out and the bolts undone, should just pull right out. So uh, yeah, now we get to put on the new one. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. So this one's the OEM front bumper. Here's the BM Fabrications bumper. As you can see, a little bit more heavy duty, a little bit better protection than the factory bumper. So can't recommend them enough. An update on the front bumper. So got to drill two holes into the bulkhead on each side and then install this little bracket here which I've done loosely to the sides of the bumper. And then there are some more attachments in the plastic down here and uh, another one further down there. I do believe you have to drill two more holes down here to connect this bottom piece right there. And then she's solid. Whereas originally before the OEM front bumper just was on these tiny little tabs here, they break like nothing. So major upgrade. It finally got it on perfect. And uh, yeah, we got it all attached up. Two right there. And then two more in the bottom here that we had to drill through for. But she's solid. Look at all that protection. And I love that the colors match too. Pretty happy about that. We got it. Well, that's pretty much a wrap on phase one of the snowmobile build. Really happy on how it's turned out so far. In terms of phase two, I do have a Bikeman exhaust coming for it. Um, I might do a tune as well, so we'll see on that. Um, definitely a lot more in store for the snowmobile in phase two of the build, and definitely appreciate you guys watching this episode one, and we'll have a few more videos coming out this year. Should be pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. Um, consider liking and subscribing the video and we'll see you on the next one.